last time, the last period, with my, my collaborators. We have some joint project with King's College in London. Um, and my, my group and my, my former student they're also in, uh, in King's College, Evgen Shargarotsky, this is the joint program. We are investigating partial differential equations on surfaces and try to apply it to shell problems and heat conduction. And I will, I will try to explain what, what, what is this, what kind of problems we are investigating. I, I skip the introduction. Uh, well, here is some list of uh, list of problem uh, list of uh, content of uh, my lecture. I, I am not sure that I will go uh, can go through of all these topics, but I will I will mostly speak about surfaces, differential equations on surfaces, differential operators and equations on surfaces, and then some boundary value problems. Uh, perhaps uh, mostly I will speak about boundary value problem for Laplace Beltrami operators on the surfaces because they are connected with heat conduction. And then I will mention very, very fast uh, about um, equations of uh, elastic uh, hypersurfaces, how they, how they look like and what we know about them. Uh, first of all, let me start with the, skip the introduction. About the explanation, what, uh, how we understand the surface, well, we understand surface as everybody, but uh, there exist several definitions of hypersurfaces. Uh, two of them are very useful for us, for our purposes. And um, the first definition, so we have surface in the, in the Euclidean space. Um, it can be defined in, uh, well, uh, we have here a picture and I will explain something. Uh, at any, uh, at all points of the surface, you can put some unit normal vector which is orthogonal to the surface. It's called unit normal vector, and these vectors are, are well one of the one of the vector fields which you can define on the surface. Vector field means vectors at any point of the surface. You have surface, and at any point of the surface, you have vectors. This is the uh, example of vector field which is orthogonal to the surface at any point. When you move it here, it will be uh, this way, and when it uh, comes here, it's this way. It's orthogonal. It's a uh, normal vector field. What is, okay, what we understand on the surface? On the surface is understood uh, the first definition. So you you cover surface with some small pieces. So you have a cover of this surface. It's divided in small pieces. And for each piece, you have mapping of some flat surface to your surface. So it's general definition, which uh, you can use also uh, for, to define the surface, not in the Euclidean space, but general. Uh, general surface in uh, topological uh, as a um, uh, well manifold for example definition of manifold but it is of course the surface is the one uh, sort of manifold so you you can use it here this definition of uh, by portions it's necessary because the, you can never find one function which will uh, which uh, will define you the whole surface. Uh, the, it's impossible. So you divide it in pieces, at least two pieces you need to define such uh, a mappings. These mappings are very useful. Uh, yeah, well, they have, of course, the properties that the uh, corresponding differentials have the full rank. Full rank. That means that it has maximal rank. If it is the, if, uh, if you map some flat uh, flat, um, well, in this case, we have uh, n minus one, n minus n minus one dimensional surface in n dimensional space, and um, so you 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 have the functions uh, which map such a flat uh, domain to your surface. Uh, such functions are 
vector functions and they have dimension n. But the derivatives you have n minus 1. So these derivatives will give you uh, uh, n by n minus 1 matrix. And this has maximal rank. It means that n, uh, the rank of this matrix is n minus 1. Then the surface is not degenerated and the surface is good. Okay. Well, but intuitively you all understand what is surface, yes? For example, the surface of the ball. Uh, this uh, definition is very useful because all derivatives, if you take derivatives of your functions, uh, of uh, the functions which map to the surface, these functions, uh, these vectors now, derivatives will be uh, tangential vectors. So they are tangential to the surface. And they are very important because in differential geometry, this, uh, with the help of these tangential vectors of derivatives, you define the uh, measure of the surface, which gives you possibility to define the integration of the surface. Uh, and this measure is defined as the gram determinant of this uh, vector. So you take these vectors, such vectors, you have uh, n minus one such vectors. You define all kind of uh, scalar products of those vectors and uh, then have your gram matrix of these scalar products. If you take determinant and the square root from determinant, it is exactly the measure which gives you possibility to define the integral, integration of the surface. So, this definition is very useful to define the tangential vectors, uh, integration of the surface, and also, uh, if you take the vector product of those uh, vector pro product of those uh, vectors, you will get the normal vector field. Normal vector vector product of all these tangential vectors will give you the normal vector field. But there exists another definition also of this surface. Uh, yes. Here is the what, what is the vector field uh, I explained already. So the vector field is the function which is defined at any point of the surface and it is uh, n vector function. For each value of x it is, it is vector which is uh, fixed at the point x on the surface. So uh, uh, normally we consider the vector fields which are continuous or at least uh, uh, at least, uh, or maybe even uh, smooth. We don't consider discontinuous vector fields. So vector fields is means the vector function, which gives you at any point, it gives the vector on the surface. Um, yes. Uh, tangential vector field means that uh, at